what's going on guys, Chris Travis here with Fandra.com. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at and unboxing the Huawei Mate 10 Pro. Uh, this little bad boy here was announced back in October and made available in some parts of the globe in November um, and sort of gearing up for a US release, which is still kind of unconfirmed. Um, Huawei has gone ahead and been sending out some review devices uh, leading up to probably an announcement at CES this year in January next month um, where they will talk about US availability and pricing um, but for now we're gonna go ahead and unbox it so you guys can see what to expect this is the global slash US model so um, very small probably differences and mainly just a charger but here's the device itself this is the Mate 10 Pro. This is uh, a little bit different from the Mate 10. So Huawei is going to be releasing two devices. There is the Mate 10 and the Mate 10 Pro, this version here. Uh, the biggest difference is, is the display, or I guess the aspect ratio. This one on the Mate 10 Pro, you have an 18 by 9 aspect ratio. Uh, it's a full HD plus display, um, and the fingerprint sensor is on the back. The Mate 10 Pro is a little more squarish it's got a more traditional 16 by 9 aspect ratio and the fingerprint sensors on the front um, but they both still have some pretty relatively small bezels which is really nice um, and then the rest of the specs are pretty much identical across the two uh, as opposed to i guess the mate 10 pro ditches the headphone jack uh, a trend we've been seeing all too common lately um, well whereas the mate 10 does have a headphone jack so the pro Despite the name is a little bit, I guess it's just the more svelte and sexy version of the two, uh, but not necessarily, it doesn't have any more extra or added utility over the Mate 10. So we'll get back to that in a second. Let's go ahead and see what comes in the box just real quick. Um, Huawei does provide you, on the Mate 10 Pro anyway, they do provide you with USB Type-C headphones, which is nice, nice little touch. Look very similar to Apple's in design. Uh, you get the USB Type-C to Type-A charger and Huawei's new supercharger, which is also nice. This is the European version. They did send me an American version, which is nice, featuring Huawei Supercharge technology, which I believe goes up to like 5 volts, 4.4 amps or so. Um, which, so it's, it's pretty dang, pretty dang quick and fast at charging. You get your normal SIM removal tool, and then like Huawei often does, they give you a nice TPU case to cover the phone directly out of the box so if you're thinking about maybe you know getting the phone and maybe trying to buy a case for it they do provide you with one I'm gonna probably slip it on and eh, we'll just leave it off hopefully I don't drop it um, so the phone does feature an all glass design which is really nice you have a metal frame it's absolutely gorgeous very beautiful um, comes in three different colors this one is kind of like the I forget they call it lunar gray or whatnot I'm not sure but the cameras you have dual cameras Leica cameras um, designed branded by Leica uh, you get a 16 megapixel uh, color RGB sensor and then you have a 20 megapixel monochrome sensor so what that does is it combines the more detailed and um, kind of better dynamic range black and white photo with the color photo and kind of just um, adds a little more detail and dynamic range to your pictures and uh, the results are pretty amazing. I think the XOMR gave this a uh, really, really high score as far as, far as still video goes. Um, both of them have OIS, which is also nice, and they are both f1.6, so the aperture is nice and big. There is laser autofocus as well, as um, phase detection autofocus too. Um, and that's kind of it right there. The display itself is an OLED display. It, they kind of uh, go with this weird um, sort of over sharpening effect on it um, and I kind of dig it I actually do like it it's not um, you maybe not as smooth around some of the edges of like say some of the pixels and stuff you can kind of not necessarily see the jaggies but it is just more much more sharp um, pictures look insanely sharp um, even just you know viewing Instagram or Twitter and whatnot you can kind of see that there's just a little bit more sharpness to it which is turned up um, also which is really nice there's two different display modes and this one's on vivid but it doesn't completely blow out or just you know oversaturate the reds and stuff like you see on a lot of OLED devices it actually looks really nice viewing angles are great um, it gets super bright and uh, I kind of I kind of dig it it's actually the perfect mix of um, saturation without going a little too overboard on it. Um, the phone is going to come with two or come in two storage configurations. You have the four gigabyte, uh, 64 gigabyte model, then you have a 128 gigabyte 
six gigabytes of RAM model, uh, which is this baby here. And performance is stellar. The phone is blazing quick, stupid fast. <laughs> I mean, look, it, it's it's great. It's fantastic. Apps stay in the background practically forever, and it's just it's if uh, performance is sort of your thing. This is definitely a device for you. Uh, it is running Android 8.0 Oreo. It's one of the few devices that this is launching out of the box with Android 8.0 Oreo, so it's great. And before I forget, uh, one of the most important aspects about the phone is its incredibly large 4,000 milliamp hour battery. Um, it's absolutely huge given the device's relatively slim profile. Huawei says battery life should be pretty insane. I've been using it for a couple days and I'll say that it is definitely better than the say Pixel 2 XL, or devices that have a 3,500 milliamp hour battery, um, but I mean it's not going to take you two days or anything crazy like that so far. Um, it's just been lots of screen end time, around five hours plus, um, right around that mark there, so it's been pretty stellar for me, but nothing completely mind-blowing. But yeah, definitely got to give props to Huawei for including such a very ample sized battery in this device. Inside the phone also features a Kirin 970 processor. This is uh, Huawei's latest SoC that features uh, NPU, which is their neural processing unit, uh, which basically uses, uh, sort of leverages AI for certain aspects of the device, whether it's managing battery life or when you take photos, it's able to uh, identify objects and things. Um, it's kind of limited in its current state, but Huawei promises that it's going to become more robust and more advanced and smarter as time goes on. But as it stands, the Huawei Mate 10 Pro is an absolute stunner. But for now, that's just a quick look at the Huawei Mate 10 Pro. Be on the lookout for more on Fandra.com as we learn about US availability as well as pricing. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.